Hey guys, it's Ian, Aussie Tech Racing here, one of my vlogs, I've done one of these for a little bit. Uh, a bit going on in my life, uh, I found out yesterday that my father's also got some cancer inside his left eye, probably left over from a skin cancer thing here, he's going in for surgery tomorrow, which is Friday, today is Thursday the 11th of July. Um, I was going to be doing my drive for cancer tomorrow night, but with my father going in for the surgery tomorrow, I need to look after mum, so I've postponed that till hopefully only hopefully only a couple of weeks, but we'll wait and see. Now I, I was doing a stream last night, and a guy came in and started wanting one of those ones. He just wanted to argue. I was talking about DRSR and how I I personally think how. If you're a good, safe, clean driver and you've made your way up to the B, you might have a bad week. I do think as long as you keep your safe, safety rating up, you shouldn't lose a rank down to, say, C. And this guy just came in and he launched into the whole, and I was talking about Daily Race C, which is GR1s and how the BOPs, um, to me, is broken for that class, needs readjustment. A lot of people are saying the same thing. GR1 and GR2 BOP needs some major adjustments. Especially for certain cars, that are like the old GR1 cars, which I think should be in a separate class anyway. But even this one, it's, it's just the Porsche. There's, there's no real BOP. And this guy's saying, well, you know, the, yeah, there is BOP. You just drive the same car. Said, That's not BOP. I don't want... Why should I have to want to drive the same car? That's not BOP. BOP means that... Uh, a lot of the different cars are closer in performance than what they are. That's what balance, that's what BRP means, balance of form. Anyway, this guy just wanted to argue. I asked him very politely, because I knew that I was starting to get better. Right? I've got a lot going on because of my more bad news with my father. And he just didn't listen. I said to him, please stop. We're just going to have to agree to disagree. No more on the subject. And he, you can guess it, yeah, he continued on. So I lost it in the stream. So I do apologise for those who witnessed that. And in a way to him, but to the point, no. I'm sorry, I just removed him from the channel because listen to and respect what other people say. If they say, please, please stop, just respect that and stop. But no, this guy wants to let on, you know, keyboard warriors, you know. Because he was going on about, what was the other part of it, you know, he's all, you know, if you want to make an AA plus, you just do the races you're good at and don't do the other races. Well, I, I like to stream. I like to do the daily races, whether they're good or bad, I still like to do them. That's why I don't use my main account. So I can still do those races. I still think um, the whole DISR thing, but just the way he was saying, oh, you know, if you want to get to A, and I, I don't actually want to get to A or A+. Plus. Definitely don't want to get to A+. Plus. And I'm, I also know that I'm not good enough to get to A+. Plus. Honestly, I'm really just a B driver. I accept that, that I am a B driver. So I'm happy being in the, at the level of B. So I don't have that. I've, my Aussie Tech Racing, my main account is borderline A. But even when I get to A, I won't be able to stay there very long. So I'll still resonate around that B. I just think losing a rank because you have a bad week or you get, keep getting taken out, which is what hap has happened on my UK account, it's been moved back to C because I've been taken out and just, just the races are really hard to keep consistency on. And I just think that part of it, I just think, needs a bit more reviewing. But some people need to realise that just because you're a streamer of racing games, or racing, doesn't mean that you are an expert. It doesn't mean that I have to be an A driver or an A+. Plus. I don't aspire to be that. I aspire just to have a race that I enjoy, where people can race together respectfully, not take each other out. And that's what the problem is lately. So many people are just getting taken you out. Just the other day, on Monday night, I got taken. I got taken out by an idiot, and, he, and I had a go at him uh, in private chat. And he said to me he did it on purpose because of the race before him that I, I apparently ran off the road. I walked back the. Um, I was live streaming at that point. I walked back that race because unfortunately I didn't save that race, but I watched the stream. There was no point that I got close to the. Uh, the only actually, there was one point that I got close to him on the end of lap one where he was just before the slow down line, because he had a penalty. And they were all ghosted. Everyone was just blocking the road. Luckily they ghosted and I had to try and just get
get through that. But I never hit anyone, never hit him. The very two corners later, after the first corner at Interlagos and the and that fast and you get that fast first left, I lost it. So I never once got near this guy in the whole way. So I was that freaking slow. I was in the Toyota because I don't like the Porsche, and um, ended up at the back of the grid. And he has a go at me saying that he took me out because I took him out in the race beforehand. Now I was never near him in that race beforehand, which is why it's. Unless you really, really know that person's taking you out, don't even react. Don't take them out in the next race. Don't. Yeah, just don't. And this guy's shown. And it's funny how when I really long text replied to him, pointed out that I never actually touched him in the race and that it was streaming at the same time and that you can see that I never actually got near him. Of course, he's not replied because, you know, he runs, oh, I'm sorry about that. And he knows he's made a fool of himself. And, um, yeah. So with the racing, I just want to see a little bit more respectful racing out there, you know, just... You're racing against real people, so real people are making those decisions to push one out. Yes, there can be lag and there can be other little aspects that can cause to contact. To me, if I hit someone, it's by accident. And if I feel like that's wrong, I will slow down and let them pass. Even if I've got a penalty, I'll slow down and let them pass me anyway, because I want to show them that, hey, I'm sorry. I actually had a race, not sure if it was last night or the night before, later, where a guy took me out, and on the last lap he slowed down and let me back pass again, because he obviously, he knew that he had taken me out, took responsibility, and slowed down. You don't have to, and, but I respect that kind of driving. And I said, I just want to have a good race. You can have some amazing races and not have to win. So I'm not, I'm not out there to win races. If you think, as a YouTuber, you have to win races to be, to be a YouTuber or a streamer, then, yeah, I don't stream for that. I don't stream to have thousands of subscribers. I don't stream to make money. I stream because I enjoy it. I like to share my passion for motorsport and cars with you guys. I like the fact that I can chat with you and see replies, see everyone chatting to each other. For example, you know, you know, we all know my falling out with Rory. I'm not talking about that side of things. But when I first subscribed to him, he had about 23, 24,000 subscribers. And the chat moved but it was slow enough that you could see what others were saying so you could chat to each other in the ch in the uh, in the chat and you could chat to him and he would see your messages and he would reply to our messages and it was great but now that he's so much more successful he's got over a hundred thousand subscribers he gets thousands of people in his chat during his streams that it's it scrolls it just it's you might say something and he most likely won't see what you say because it's moved so quickly you're out of sight. And if someone replies to you, again, it moves so quickly, you probably won't see that person's reply. And ah, that's great for what he wants to do. It's great that he's so successful. And said, I have no bars against that. He has worked very hard. But he, has, he went, he does YouTube. He does all that racing and YouTube to make money. He's, he was very open to it, even when he... When I first subscribed to him, he was saying that's the main reason why he joined and do, did that. I'm not doing it for that. I'm streaming for engagement with you guys that have subbed to me, support me. To me, when I'm racing and, and I'm streaming and you guys come and chat, it's like a whole lot of ma mates getting together and having a good old chat. Lobbies are great fun because some then we're on the, tra on the track with each other. I, just don't, I wish I had enough people to be able to do some racing lobbies and I would do lobbies more often but it is good you know so that's why I stream it's not to get hundreds of people commenting it's just to kind of hang out with my mates and that's what I regard you guys you, you subscribers are my mates but please respect each other and my feelings like what happened with that guy and I said look please stop and he didn't I found that he was disrespectful when I asked him to stop and he just continued wanting to argue. And people like that will just argue their view 
And I just said, look, we've obviously got different opinions. Enough. Stop. And he wants it. People who push their opinions onto others, I don't like. So, uh, that's what happened there. I do apologise to him and to the others that may have witnessed that last night. Because I said a couple of choice words. But, yep, yeah, I'm heading home now. Just gone for a little bit of a drive. It's a nice sunny day. I might figure out something to do this afternoon. And I uh, will catch you guys in a future stream or vlog. Catch you guys later. I'm Ian. This is Aussie Tech Racing. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Don't wanna hold